Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I am Luke Owen. WWE takes us back to hell this coming Sunday with the Hell in a Cell pay per view. So we here at WrestleTalk thought it was time to delve into all the stories surrounding the show and the potential leaks and spoilers. So here is your warning, and I'm saying it very slowly so you've got time to stop the video. We're heading into a potential spoiler room brawl in three, two, one. It's been widely reported that the reason for putting the WWE Championship on former job agenda Mahal was to help the company's expansion into India. And Part of that expansion will be officially announced in the coming weeks with WWE staging live events in the country, where Triple H is currently tweeting pictures from his meetings in Mumbai. According to the Wrestling Observer, these will be Raw branded shows, but will feature SmackDown's Jinder Mahal in the main events. These shows take place in early December, suggesting that Mahal is retaining the WWE Championship at Hell in a Cell, and most likely through November Survivor Series 2. Cage side seats have reported a rumour, so do take this with a pinch of salt, that Jinder will be involved in a 5 on 5 Survivor Series match to extend his reign past next month so he can hold on to it until the new year, where other reports have John Cena returning to challenge him at January's Royal Rumble. To the annoyance of Ollie Davis, the announced Fashion Files segment was cut from this week's edition of SmackDown Live, with the commentators revealing it will instead be at Hell in a Cell this Sunday. This was clearly a last minute decision, as Tyler Breeze tweeted earlier in the day, who's ready for the return of Fashion Files? But the following day, Prince Pretty teased, new lead pop, See you Sunday, policeman emoji, flashing light emoji. PW Insider are reporting that Breezango have filmed a parody of Pulp Fiction for this edition of The Fashion Files, which Cage Side Seats are noting will be the payoff to the months long storyline of Who Trashed Their Office. The original plan was to reveal a repackaged Luke Harper and Eric Rowan as their assailants, but everyone from the Colognes to the Authors of Pain have been rumoured since. Cage Side Seats have another rumour that the pre show match between the Hype Bros and American Alpha 2.0 could see the end end of Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley as a tag team. A breakup that was first teased months ago, dropped, and has now been set up again in recent weeks. Natalia winning the SmackDown Live Women's Championship from Naomi at SummerSlam was a surprising win, but she may not be champion for much longer. New reports are claiming that Charlotte is being primed for a big WrestleMania Championship defense next year against former UFC star Ronda Rousey. While this doesn't confirm that Charlotte is winning this Sunday, the report does describe Natalia as somewhat of a transitional champion. Bobby Roode makes his glorious WWE pay-per-view debut this Sunday when he he takes on Dolph Ziggler in what could be one of the show-off's last outings with the company. It was reported last month that Ziggler's contract is coming up at the end of October and he is unlikely to re-sign. Should this report be correct, it's likely he's putting over Rude on his way out. The main event of the show will see Shane McMahon take on Kevin Owens inside Hell in a Cell. Since returning to in-ring competition, Shane O'Mac has been beaten by The Undertaker, eliminated from Survivor Series, and pinned by AJ Styles. But that could change this Sunday. Brian Alvarez speculated on Wrestling Observer Live that the match could see Owens be traded to Raw. And KO has since been advertised for the October 16th episode of Raw by the venue's Facebook page. Remember to check WrestleTalk this Saturday for mine and Ollie's Hell in a Cell prediction show, which $5 backers on Patreon can access our whole day early. Is Bray Wyatt playing Sister Abigail? And has WWE given up on the third hour of Raw? Click the videos to the left to find out more. Press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I have been Luke Owen and that was wrestling.